There's two types of hair, realistically. You've got natural hair and synthetic hair, okay? And I'll talk about both in detail. Synthetics are way better than they used to be, okay? It's like anything. 10, 11 years ago, we didn't have iPhones. Now look at those, you know? Synthetic hair has come on so good in the last 10 years. And, and that's really, really is a great thing for everyone because it means that you can afford to buy lots of brushes um, and, you know, it's not expensive all of a sudden to replace them or as expensive. And, you know, we can then provide to more people because more people can then actually get them. The old masters would tell you opposite. They'd say, always use bristle. But honestly, they didn't have the synthetics that we have now. I guarantee if Monet had the, the ivory range, for example, now, he would probably be using those over some, frankly, crappy bristles that he had, that he literally had to make do with, you know. The other thing about synthetics, you know, there's a lot of vegans out there. If they, they have any problems, you know, with, with how the animals, are, how we get the tails, then obviously synthetics is your way forward and it means you can still paint. But that being said, natural hair has a different characteristic, okay? You cannot imitate natural hair no matter how you try with synthetics. You can try, but it'll never quite be right, okay? Example being squirrel. You can get fake squirrel or sable. You can get the imitation sable. Mongoose, you can get an imitation mongoose. Nothing will ever feel like the natural hair. But if you've never tried the natural hair, you don't have to worry. Okay. Now, we can't use 95% um, of, the, of the animal. We can only use the tails. Brush making is purely based on tails. The animals are kill killed for their fur and for their meat. Okay? Um, there's nothing I'm hiding about that. That is the truth. They're killed for their fur and for their meat. We buy the tails. We're a byproduct because if the tails weren't bought from us, they would be burnt or thrown away. The red tape behind farming the animals is high, it's tight, you know. So if it doesn't sit with you, go for synthetics. But if not, go for natural. On the tail, I'm going to show you with natural hair. On the tail, there's eight different lengths of hair, okay? And the very tip of the tail, one eighth, is a size eight and above. So I don't know whether you've ever looked at your brushes and thought, with natural hair, why does the price rocket, literally rockets, from a size 8 to 10 to 12 to 14? We're talking like $30 to $45 to all of a sudden $65. It's because we can only use that one eighth of the tail, okay? So it's not just a load of brush makers sat in the back of a room going, it's, it's the economy, you know, we can only use that amount of, of the tail, so that's, that's what it is. So, when again you're thinking about buying natural brushes, really think, do you need a size 8 or could you get away with a 9? Or like a size 10 and a 9, or, or a 7 instead of an 8 to save some money. But if you, if you need the 8, you need the 8.